Hey guys, and welcome back to Rule of Rose. We just finished all three stories, and I'm very curious to see what's going to happen next. Looks like the prince is not there, he's gone. Oh, I didn't even get a dialogue. Oh, scary. I was really surprised that the last one, the two enemies were, uh, were goats. I thought it was going to be something different. I don't know. Sure. I'll save after being kidnapped. I'm dumb. <laughs> Gingerbread, it said the title was. June, the gingerbread house. Okay. She fell. It's the guy that always brings us stories. <laughs> when the unlucky girl awoke, she was in a rose garden. The place was strange, but familiar. Looking around, the girl noticed that a faithful companion was missing. The lonely, unlucky girl became very sad. Um? How dare you? I swear if anything happens to Brown. I'm gonna have to follow this guy. Seems like it. Well, I'm going to equip my pipe. Just to make sure. Oh man, I don't want to be by myself. I think he went this way. He did not go this way. It's shut and you can't go any further. Well, I'm glad. Thank you for making sure I'm going the right way and not getting lost. I'm glad that's shut. I guess he went, he went this way. I don't like that I'm not with Brown. Gingerbread house. Okay. Well, there's a safe here. It's like a shack here. And I can go in it. Biscuit shed. The thick smell of dust and mold fills the shed. I hear something. I hear someone talking. Well, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. Huh. Okay. Well, go back out, I guess. Oh! Jennifer found house map. Okay, let's go. Let's explore outside more. I think I hear him. There's a big hole in the wall as if something heavy has been slammed into it. Come Friday, he grinds up the pea. Come Saturday, he buries the pea outside. The pea is in the ground. 
The pay is in the ground. So there's another door. Maybe the front door doesn't work, but I want to look around. Got him. <gasps> Weapon. Heck yeah! Please be something useful. Oh yeah! That's got range on it. That's what we like to see. Hopefully it works better than the, um... The steel pipe. I just immediately forget what I've been using the whole game. Okay, heck yeah, we have a weapon. Uh, I guess we'll see if the front door works, and if it doesn't, we'll go to that back one. But it does work. Hallway. He's talking about a story about a pea. There's all sorts of trash here. Empty biscuit tin cans, torn newspapers, old photos, etc. Okay. Well... I don't like that. This is definitely locked. What about over here? I can go over here, okay. Little soldier's barracks. There is a large box. Okay. That's neat. Oh, that's some Silent Hill stuff. I didn't know I could do that. This is why you randomly click on everything, I guess. It looks like I could go in here, but it's not letting me. Oh, it was being finicky, I guess. Climbing through the window, the girl found herself in a room full of floating toys. The toys wait patiently for their master, even as they slowly decay. Okay. I don't like the looks of that doll. <laughs> a creepy old toy figure stares up at the sky. It looks like a potato. <laughs> looks like Amanda's brother or something. There are toy airships and airplanes. Toy pilots. Whoever's room this was, he must have loved all things that can fly. It's probably the prince. Eerie toy soldiers patiently await the commander's return. That one kind of looks like us, doesn't it? Huh. A newspaper is on the floor. June 21st, 1929, another unexplained disappearance. There has been another mysterious disappearance of a child recently. Following missing children reports on the 7th and 14th, police are now investigating this case as both a possible kidnapping and a missing person. Local residents are advised not to allow children outside unsupervised and to take caution around any suspicious individuals. Okay, that's not good. I was actually trying to get the door open. Oh, it's locked. I wonder if there's something we specifically need in this room or if it's just kind of a story, storytelling room where we're supposed to kind of be creeped out by it. Hmm. Well, I don't, I think I've clicked everything that I can in there. I don't know, it seems like a bonus. Like an addition to the story, I guess. Is 
when I was running around with Brown for two and a half hours off camera, I did find a note that was like, this guy killed a bunch of children in the smoking room. It's where I found that note. So that might have something to do with the story as well. Okay. Well, that's weird because that's a completely different door. We can go to this one. Laboratory. A laboratory. However you say it. The dirty pool of water at the bottom of the tub looks almost like blood. Okay. June 1929. There are strange symbols on certain days of the calendar. Okay. I can open and close the toilet lid, that's kind of fun. Um, doesn't seem like I can do much in this room, so I guess I'll skedaddle. Where am I? I have no idea. Basement. Oh boy. Wednesday, he shows the pea to his son. Come Thursday, the pea kicks and screams. Come Friday. Oh yeah, he's probably in here. I can hear him pretty well. Ah, welcome home. It's almost bedtime for you. We're just gonna act like you weren't. Good night, Joshua. Or not Joshua. He just had a pistol to his head. That's, that was a giant teddy bear. No, it's just on the shelf. Okay, I was like, that looks giant. I bet I have to knock that off. <laughs> I do. Okay, cool. Oh, my inventory's full. Right, um... I went around with Brown and got so many offerings, I think. Let's just drop this marble. Yeah. And I don't, I don't need this house map because I can already use it if I need to. Um, not that I can read the map anyway. <laughs> Jennifer found teddy bear. An adorable teddy bear with a green ribbon tied around its neck. That's not adorable. That teddy bear looks like it's been doing crack cocaine for 30 years. Right then, the girl trapped, the, the trapped and lucky girl heard a gentle voice. I came just like I promised. It looks like, uh, stay right there. I'll help you out. Oh, it went too fast. I don't know what she said. Maybe it looks like there's an opening or something. like she promised. Look under the blanket. Yeah. A boy's shirt, pants, and shoes have been neatly laid out on the bed. For some reason, Jennifer felt a sudden pain in her chest. Oh god, Jennifer, who are you and what have you done? No, that's not gonna do anything, is it? A bundle of letters were hidden under the bed sheets. Okay. November 10th. To Mr. Joshua, the bear in distress. My name is Wendy. I always watch you from the sky, Mr. Joshua. Why are you trapped down there? Oh, that was Wendy we saw. Yeah, that's her name. November 27th. From W to J, my prince in need of rescue. It was a pleasure to meet you, my dear prince. What a wonderful encounter. Yes, I only wish... There was a world for just you and I, the prince and the princess. Don't worry, I'll set you free. January 9th, from Wendy to Joshua is what it is, from W to J. Oh, my poor, kind prince, 
You're worried because that man sometimes seems crazy, right? Well, don't worry. I know where he hides that awful thing of his, so let's run away together. You can leave it all to me. Everything will be all right. January 20th. My prince, please don't worry. I'll do anything for you. Just pledge your love for me. That's all I ask. January 27th. Thank you, my eternal prince. Tomorrow night I shall unlock your shackles. Let us live together forever. Everlasting true love. I am yours. That was our promise. Does that mean we're Wendy? Are we secretly Wendy? Oh no, I don't want to read those again. A newspaper clipping is pinned up. June 23rd, luxury airship missing. England's largest luxury airship, which just set sail on its virgin flight, a flight celebrated across the country with great fanfare, was reported today to have gone off course and is currently missing. It is speculated that the vessel diverted from its course to avoid a low pressure system approaching from the south, but its whereabouts are still unknown. Due to heavy thunder and rain that have blanketed the area since yesterday, the search for the airship has faced many difficulties. Okay, I guess because of the children, I would think? It's locked. I have to keep looking around. What about this? It's painting? No, what about this? No, 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 no. Uh, what else? There we go. Jennifer, I unlocked the door. I'll keep a lookout, so come right away. I can't tell if I'm British or Australian, but I might be both. Basement. Um. Is there anything over here? No, okay. Uh, where did she go? This is a really interesting chapter. We're getting into the tea of the game. Let's run away before the man comes back. Before we go, we should find that dangerous thing and take it with us. It's for his own good. Okay. She went this way. Um... Study. I'm fine now. Let us go, shall we? So she's taking his pistol. It must be, right? The backyard looked more like it was raised rather than plowed. Okay. Books, ink, cigarette butts. These are some of the things on the disorganized desk along with the picture frame. It's faded in spots, but the picture is of a happy family. So Joshua must be his son. And something must have happened to him because he's not in the bed. And he's the one that's been talking to us and giving us these stories. I think I just saw her go this way. Is that where we were before? I can't tell, but I'm gonna go in here, I guess. Kitchen. Um, a sour smell is coming from the old rusty refrigerator. The unwashed dishes are stacked up and fill the room with a foul smell. That it's locked. Well, I don't think there's anything in here. Is there anywhere else to go? Should I go in here? I've been in here. Okay. Maybe I should actually try to use the map. 
but I'm so bad with maps. I guess she said to just get out of here, right? So I should just... That door is so intriguing to me. It's just boarded up. So I guess we just go out. Yeah. Joshua? Joshua? Okay. That's interesting. Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and save and I'm gonna ask the Bucket Knight for a clue. If memory serves me correctly, you've gained your freedom and deepened your bond with the princess. However, the feelings of the man you betrayed linger. With his instrument of justice stolen, you've denied him even death. Will you betray even the princess? It all depends on what you do now. Remember your oath to the princess, that's your only clue. Teddy bear. Why do I have a teddy bear? Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going this way. The roads way. I'm so glad. Now we can always be together. Say, I have a favor I wanted to ask. Will you trade your teddy bear with my brooch? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm so happy. We should give him a name. How about Joshua? Joshua, yes, that's a wonderful name. I'll cherish him as much as I cherish you. So, let's renew our pact. Everlasting, true love, I am yours. Yeah. Huh. I am confusion. <gasps> it's like Joshua. You should go back and hang around with Amanda where you belong. Huh. We're getting down to business somehow, some way. We're figuring things out. October 1930, Rag Princess sews. Oh. Amanda was making us a gift, wasn't she? A while ago, she said she was making something for us. This is an emergency. Joshua the bear is missing. Search teams are on the lookout. The person who finds him will receive a red crayon and will be invited to join the aristocrat club. Red crayon aristocrats. <gasps> oh. Brown's back. Good. 
They probably took him from us in that chapter so we wouldn't try to find things when we weren't supposed to be finding anything. I should have that brooch, shouldn't I? But I don't. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to equip the shovel. And it seems long range enough, so I'm just going to trust that it'll do the job. I have offerings to make, too. Let me see if I can get more health items with my offerings. I need seven. Okay, well, I have exactly seven. I might edit this out because <laughs> you have to do it every single time. Okay, I got some shortbread, made all my offerings, and, um, hmm, I wonder where I should go. <sighs> I'm just not sure. Hmm. No white chocolate, huh? Well, I guess I need to find Amanda, right? It's what Joshua said. So maybe I need to get the item that I used to find her from before. Why would someone steal something so precious to the princess? Why? I... Don't know, but I'm gonna go in this room where the goats mugged me, because when I was trying to find items, Brown kept trying to go in here. So there might actually be some good stuff in here. Let me just check. Yes. Perfect. Uh, no, I don't want to go out. I want to see if there's anything else in this room. Huh. Okay. I guess I'll just follow Brown. I want to get to a save room. Um, but socks, I think they give white chocolate. And I'm like two socks away from another white chocolate. And that fully restores my health, so... I'm definitely going to try to do that. Oh, there's the guy that brings the stories. That's... that's Joshua's dad, right? I'm sure Joshua will like the story I wrote for him. Yeah, I think so. It looks just like him. I think that's Joshua's dad. Um, one second, Brown. Let me just... Jennifer found Rag Princess. Rag Princess. Once upon a time, there was a girl who sewed rags day in, day out. The stench of the rags seeped into her clothes. Her stepsisters wore beautiful dresses and went to the ball. The girl stayed at home, and her jealousy festered. One day, a fairy godmother came, cast a spell upon the girl, and said, Sew yourself an ash-gray dress, then you can go to the ball like your stepsisters. The girl patched together the sooty rags, and that's how she became the Rag Princess. A very stinky princess indeed. She stunk up the whole town, in fact. No girl who stunk so would be allowed into the ball. I'll make that girl wear this awful dress myself. And thus, the Rag Princess and the girl in the rag dress became play pals. Okay, so that was the Rag Princess. I'm gonna go ahead and follow Brown, and I'm also gonna try to save. There should be a save close by. The gluttonous prince said, The stick I was playing night with broke in half. I wonder where I can find a good stick around here. The sloppy prince said, My sword broke while we were playing knights in shining armor. You don't have a nice stick we can use, do you? No? Not for you. Aristocrat luggage. Go in here and there should be a sock or something. 
Oh, there's a clothespin. I don't want that. Huh, what about... Who's finding a scone, too? No, there's not one in here, apparently. Uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go this way. And last time when I was... When I was just playing, it wouldn't let me in this one. Okay, I'm glad. This is like the one save room I know. Oh, what is this? Jennifer found Lollipop. That's awesome because I will definitely need that if I'm gonna have another boss fight. Lollipops, I think they restore full health as well. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay. Save right there. Perfect. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end that part there. Thank you so much for watching me play the Gingerbread House chapter in Rule of Rose. And in the next one, we are going to get down to business and play the Rag Princess, which seems like it has something to do with Amanda. Bye!